G'day everyone, Lux Horse here. Well, thanks to PC Mainline Update 25.7.0, we now have the Leverian accessible in-game. But what is it? Where can you access it from? And what is it like? Well, I'll cover all of these questions throughout this video, so let's get started. And just a quick declaration that I received Gauss and his signature weapons and fashion frame accessories that you may see throughout this video for free as part of the Warframe Partner Program. So the Leverian was introduced, and the first question is, what is it? Well, it's a mini any explorable museum-y type place where you can explore small portions of a frame's backstory and also their signature weapons and fashion frame accessories, which is even better. At the moment, Gauss is the only one with a Leverian aspect, but hopefully we'll see plenty of more frames, weapons and fashion frame accessories added to it over time. And next up, where can you access it from? Well, first one is if you head to the marketplace and bring up Gauss from the menu, you'll see there's an option to click on the Leverian on the screen here. We won't be going into that screen though, as will go into it via the codex menu instead. So you'll need to head to your codex and then navigate your way to your Warframe info menu and either select Gauss via the on-screen item or search for him and you'll get a screen up and there will be the Leverian option again. Click on it and it's time to go for a trip to a futuristic museum of sorts. And now we're at the what's the Leverian like bit of the video and I'll leave it to the video for this part. Are you sure? My sincerest thanks. Ah, Gauss. Oh, where to begin? Where to begin? Well, the series excavation, of course. The site of the ancient Tower of Altra. Blast Crete emplacements, air sentries. Its fields saturated with tremor mines. A great fortress for the great lords of Ceres. Until they were pitched from the roof. Immortal bodies erupting on the dread mines below. An insurgency from within. The Dax, sent to reclaim Altra, fared no better. Those that ran the gauntlet of Borgons were soon cindered in the field beyond. And that's when they called in our fleet-footed friend here. Dual sidearms pull from Alpha's outer ring of Blast Creek bunkers. Something crashed through those bunkers at great speed. The impact scattering stone and flesh all the same. An unearthly kinetic shockwave. Those insurgents with the misfortune of surviving the initial blast must have seen the Acarius for themselves. The Axeltra, a rapid-fire micro-missile launcher. The smooth polycarbonate barrels still carry a vague stench of ozone. Some think Gauss was a blunt instrument, all speed, with as much versatility as a cannonball. But the Axeltra implies more. It implies surging in, inviting the enemy to consider the blade, then rebounding to let missiles answer their confusion. Not the standard dress helm. This one has specialized control surfaces, angled plating, supreme streamlining. It catches the light in a curious way, doesn't it? When it shines, just so, I see myself a top ultra, a hostage perhaps, peering out across the desolate field. And then I'd see it, a pale glint of light. Mm -hmm. 
Dax of the day had a saying, that which cannot be hit cannot be killed. I can only imagine what they thought when they saw Gauss that day. A gleaming bullet. This Cyandana, pinned rigid like a flag in a maelstrom, streaking toward Altra. Stripped out Gauss airfoil system. These fanciful contrivances contribute the Kubradon share of this Warframe's acceleration. Strength, mass, density, all held in a delicate balance. Gauss, front edge, smooth, heat resistant composites, trailing edges, streamlined, foiled. This particular one vaguely warped by extreme heat stress. The Saint of Altra. If the mind wanders, what do you see? I see a vivid, lord like festival. The tremor mines bursting in a blinding wave. Rising toward Altra, and Gauss, a smear of light, just ahead of the thermal avalanche, fast as fire. No, faster. Alright, so that's it for what the Leverian is, how you can access it, and what it is actually like. Keep your heads up when moving around in there, because apparently a certain visitor may attempt to jump scare you while you're in there, although they haven't appeared for me yet on multiple visits. One other suggestion I'd like to put forward is the Leverian gets moved to its own accessible console, either next to the codex screen or somewhere else in navigation in your orbiter. Look, I believe DE have put together something really awesome that needs more in-your-face awareness for Tenno to access, rather than being hidden behind other menus. Hopefully we'll see something like this happen in a future date. And that brings us to the end of this video and taking a closer look at the Leverian and definitely excited to see the info on other frames, weapons and fashion frame accessories that will be coming to it in the future. While you're here, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like the video if it helped you out or you just simply enjoyed it. You'll also find links to my Twitch channel, Twitter and Facebook page via the description below and I hope you're having a blast in Warframe, whatever it is that you're getting up to. Cheers.